Um, the tensions here at home come amid escalation in the Middle East. Global powers tonight urging restraint after Israel launched a retaliatory strike against Iran. And now as the world watches, the big question, what is next? With that said, we want to bring in Dr. Benjamin Rad. He is a senior fellow at the UCLA International Institute. Dr. Rad, thank you for joining us again. Thank you for having me back. So here we are, Iran's foreign minister telling NBC News they do not plan to escalate the conflict. They've even mocked Israel's weapons as toys. What kind of message are they sending here? They are trying to de-emphasize both what took place and the consequences of it. It is basically signaling that both parties, especially Iran, is looking for an off-ramp to really end this back and forth that could really run the risk of escalating things further and inflaming the entire region beyond what it's already at. So this is all part of the rhetorical games they're playing to basically go back to the status quo before this began, which is the shadow war that's been taking place between the two countries. The White House, you were saying, told Israel after the strikes against them said to take this as a win. Israel did not. And you said that the White House would call that a disappointment. Where do you think the White House is standing tonight? I think the White House has to be relieved that there weren't any casualties with this uh, with this Israeli attack, that the damage was limited to a, a radar or some kind of a defense system um, on a military base in Esfahan, as um, shown on the map here. And there were no, no casualties, civilian or otherwise, nothing else that anyone has indicated. So I think the White House can be relieved that it could have been worse, and it was not. And, and the assessment as they continue to look at the damage, and again, want to make it clear, the United States was not involved in this offensive and that the nuclear sites in Iran were not damaged at all. A lot of talk that Israel was directing these strikes purposely to not cause a lot of damage, just to sort of let them know this is our retaliation, let's end it here. Is that the way you see it? Absolutely. And what's remarkable is there are reports from Iranian officials that that some of these missiles some of, that were um, launched came from a drone that took off from Iran itself. That means Israel somehow managed to get a drone or get access to a drone in Iranian territory. And that's how it was able to avoid detection by Iranian radar and defense systems. So there's multiple ways Israel is sending a message. It kept the, the, the scope limited and the means and methods at which it used were one to show Iran that it's able to reach from the country from within the country. And that's notable as well. Dr. Rad, we've gone tit for tat with both countries right now. How are you gauging the temperature and the sentiments for both sides, for Israel and Iran here on American soil? Well, I think the fact that nobody is talking about it that much, meaning both um, the Iranian media and officials are playing it down. Uh, here in the U.S., we're not seeing a lot of comments from the, from the Biden White House. We definitely haven't heard from, Kirby, um, from um, uh, John Kirby. Uh, who usually briefs the public on these things. And it's, and it's a um, indication that everybody is looking for a way to de-escalate. And I think that after this latest salvo from Israel, the opportunity presents itself. So I um, anticipate that it hopefully will quiet down um, in the short term. Really quickly, and a short answer for this, uh, retired General Benjamin McCaffrey said that he believes that we are in for a tough week. Is that sort of the window of time you see for the next retaliation? If well, there is one. The, there is a short window for retaliation. The question is, will there be pressure from Iran from within to respond more aggressively, pressure from other proxies, other leaders to do so? If we don't see that pressure manifest, then I think it, it, it'll be a quiet week. All right. Benjamin Brad, thank you. And that, was, that comment then was from Barry McCaffrey, who was talking about if there is going to be consequences to this, when that next strike would happen. And that's what we wait to see. And we will wait to learn if, in fact, there will be retaliation.